Welcome back. This is part two and the continuation of the Corel Video Studio Basics introduction. Uh, we went through a lot yesterday, and I just want to continue that quickly. Get off. Uh, I'm sorry. Get on onto where we left off. So we left off at the actual um, uh, texting that you can add into. We were at the intro uh, side. I uh, got a phone call at the end, so I apologize for that. Um, continuing. Once you decide what it is that you want to actually um, type in, uh, you can do a little preview. I put intro intro on the top, video on the bottom, and uh, I can press the play button and get a preview of how it would look like. Um, and that's how it would look like. I can also determine whether I want to make them further away from each other, one lower, one higher. Uh, I can even make it to the left or the right, and if I press play, I get a preview of that. And uh, I can put those uh, texts pretty much anywhere in that area, in that space. I'll leave it right there in the center, and kind of where it was. Okay. And uh, if I want to get a full preview now with music, with intro text, with uh, my videos, with my um, transitions, and even my end phrase, I will go to project, I will go to rewind it all the way to the beginning, press play, and uh, everything is going to go together. Let's see how that looks. Oh, and uh, by the way, notice that my music down here, my song that I had selected, now it's only limited to where I had left it off or cut it off before. So I can actually now extend that again, since now my video is much longer, I can extend it to the new parameter, which is there. That's where I want it to stop. So let's see how that looks like. Project, rewind it to the beginning, play. And that's pretty much how it would look like. Now I can also extend the song all the way to the end of the um, the final texting that I put in there, so I can do that as well. Uh, one of the questions that I was asked is how does this compare to, or how does this software compare to Sony Vega? Um, yeah, it, it's pretty much very comparable. Uh, they're all beginning type programs. I did a lot of research and I just figured that for a PC, I want it to go with Corel. If you own a Mac or an Apple or whatever, I think the Sony Vega might work better. I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can't recall my research right now, but I do know that they are very similar. Uh, they all offer very similar functions. Uh, some just uh, some, one might have it uh, in a different format than the other, but they, I think, all pretty much towards the end um, do the same thing as far as video editing goes. Um, I looked at the reviews for each one in Amazon.com, and I went for Corel. All right, so continuing. So that's pretty much uh, it as far as uh, the basics on how to get a, a, a movie started or a video started and uploaded. Now, once you're done with that, you want to go into the share option right here. And this is where it gets interesting because um, when I first started, I would just go upload to the web and it'll give you an option for you to just take it straight to YouTube and it'll ask you what format if you want to do it HD or not. If you don't do it HD, it'll upload a lot quicker, but that also has a lot to do with your connection type. So if you have a fast internet access uh, in your in your home, um, then you what you will probably not even have to worry about um, you know slow uploads even in HD. Um, like if you're in some sort of a, uh, computer uh, programming or something like that area in your in your job or away from your job you can actually upload these videos fairly quickly with a T3 type connection which are usually like commercial based or, or companies or whatnot but if you have a basic uh, one like me it'll take me for an HD five minute video it'll probably take me about two two hours uh, to upload if I do like a ten minute video it'll be like three hours to upload and uh, and you know that's that's that so it depends what you want to go here this is a basic way of uploading it now you could um, do which is a trick that I've learned from another youtuber that actually posted this up you go to create video file and you go to custom 
and uh, once you go there you type in the name of whatever you want to call this you know how to video whatever alright and once you do that you would go and select Windows Media Video and after that you would go to options you would go to profile and you would select the drop down box um, option right here on profiles and take it all the way up to where it says Corel screen capture profile 1920 by 1080 uh, which is the, the highest resolution you can give it um, for HD and uh, you select that and you come down here to this uh, display aspect ratio portion uh, source frame size and you will select 16.9 you would hit OK and you would hit save and then it'll start rendering that video it'll take for a short video like this probably a minute or less to render that video <clears throat> once it does render that video uh, you can go ahead and at that point I'm gonna go cancel right here because I don't want to do this at that point you can go ahead and open up um, YouTube and you will be able to go to your YouTube upload portion right here and once you do that you'll be able to go uh, upload you will select the file and you would uh, just search for the name that you saved that file under and begin the upload you can you know write down descriptions and do all that good stuff that you usually do and uh, how do you know you have accomplished uh, I'm sorry accomplished, accomplished uh, that option well um, let's say if I go to um, a shooting video like this all right you will notice that right here in this option it says change quality that little uh, sprocket you would select that I'm gonna mute that I apologize uh, let me pause this I apologize all right so um, you would actually select that little wheel right there and you can see what quality of video or the highest quality of video that you can watch that video in if you go through that last setting uh, customized settings that I just used you will get an option of 1080p so for those who have those 1080p high resolutions they will get a very nice HD video um, if you don't you will probably be stuck somewhere between 144 and 480 your videos will all upload extremely fast but you will be sacrificing the high definition um, option so and in case you didn't know this, yeah, you can do this with any video. So some people will upload it with a capability of 720, others will take it to 1080p. And uh, that's that on that end.